Hello, this is Dave at AFX Search, Licensed Investigators in Palm Beach, Florida. In this video we're going to talk about, as a business owner, what you might face in uh, having reviews against your company, maybe even fake reviews on Yelp uh, or other review sites, even better business bureau sites. Uh, so you're a business owner, you have hundreds of thousands of clients uh, that visit your company, uh, and you provide great service and great client experience, but you may have one customer or even a disgruntled employee or a competitor uh, posting uh, in, uh, incorrect information about you online, uh, maybe complaints and maybe incorrect information about your company. This may be on Yelp or other uh, platforms. Uh, so the first thing is uh, to verify if the information is genuine. If the person or entity that put that information, if it's correct, it may be difficult to use all of these techniques to have it removed. Uh, you have to demonstrate that your side of the story is accurate. Uh, what we're going to do as an investigation uh, to try to find out who this is, is look at the date and time that was used for the posting. Uh, the name is more than likely going to be a fake name. Uh, but that's okay. A lot of times the name a person does use will be repeated elsewhere. We're going to gather all this intel, date, time, name, look at other reviews around the same time, look at other reviews of other companies by that person elsewhere, um, maybe look to see if there are reviews on competitor sites that are positive around the same time. Uh, we may be able to get the uh, IP address of that poster to see where the IP came from. Was it in your hometown? Was it in a town where you know you may have a client? Uh, those are going to be the first steps in starting to undo or remove or erase these postings or in some cases maybe even file civil actions. We work with a lot of attorneys who are filing lawsuits against people who post these fake reviews and create damage for a company. We're going to find that in many cases the language in the reviews will match the language from other sources. It may be language from known marketing information from a competitor. It may be language from uh, an employee knowing how they use certain words or certain punctuation or misuse words in some cases. Uh, we're going to look at local review sites to see if there's other examples of similar language used or even similar names used against other companies or even to promote other companies. We're going to match this up with your customer receipts, uh, checks you may have written, uh, payroll checks, maybe even vendor information. And then from there we're going to start looking at background investigation on some of these potential uh, disgruntled employees or even competitors and even their colleagues. Uh, there may be other lawsuits or better business bureau complaints um, against a party from uh, some of your uh, peers and colleagues in the industry. Uh, usually if a person uh, gets into this kind of activity, uh, putting on fake reviews or posting fake reviews, uh, it's not the first time they've done it. They're not just going to pick you out. It may either be a competitor that's done this before, it may be an employee that's done it before, it may just be a customer that just had a bad experience and is exaggerating or creating false information. In any case, an investigation is the first step to identifying who the person is, uh, finding out what their motivations are, and then seeing if there's an internal breach of security, and if not, then what civil action might be able to be taken. In some cases, these activities are actually criminal in nature. So if you have more uh, questions or would like to find out what an investigation of fake reviews might be like, you can reach us on our website, afxsearch.com.